Okay. Hi, guys. Hey. Hi. All right. We good. We good. Okay. Um, so I want to talk about my first love. Is that cool with y'all? Yeah. Woo. All right. I need your help, though. Can you say, who's your first love? Who's your first love? My first love? <laughs> my first love was Tandis. She was a senior in high school. I was a freshman. She was captain of the girls' varsity basketball team. I was on JV, okay? She had a banging body. I mean, five, five, big titty, small waist, big ass, and I'm an ass girl, right? She was a little girly in high school. She didn't get ghetto butch until she went to Compton Community College. She would wear dresses every now and then, tighten all the right places. She would braid her weave down her back. Okay, she was my poetic justice, all right? <laughs> Our first interaction outside basketball practice was a telephone conversation. And after an hour and a half going back and forth, she finally says, you know, I've had a girlfriend in the past. You know, I've kissed a girl before. Really, who? No one you know, it's not important, okay? <laughs> all of a sudden, she's walking me to class, writing me love letters, quoting song lyrics, Aliyah. Lord Hill. I mean, she got game, right? <laughs> so we're hanging out all over school, making out in the girls' bathroom. I bought her a jade necklace with a Chinese symbol for love from the Eagle Rock Plaza Jewelry Pagoda. <laughs> we were serious. <laughs> I was serious. I was so in love, I had to talk about it, right? And I knew my, my mom's semi-secret tomboy lover, Tita J, would be more accepting. <laughs> because she was never hiding her sexuality. She's a butch, they don't have that luxury, right? So I sit down at the dinner table with Tita J and her black apina friend. And I'm like, okay. Uh, Candace is my girlfriend. Shit. Shit, okay, time out, time out. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, don't tell your mom. Okay. And, and, and if your mom finds out, I never knew, okay? <laughs> uh, okay, and you and Candice, you need to be a little bit more discreet. What do you mean? She was lying on your bed naked. She just had her top off. Cat, what? I, I was just giving her a massage. Just, hello, just close the door. <laughs> and lock it, okay? And stop walking out in the hallway naked. Your mom is starting to ask questions. Questions, I can totally imagine it. What's happening to me? <laughs> problems and had to sell the home that they bought together. Tita J moved in with her recently divorced sister and the rest of us got an apartment in Glendale. It was also around that time that Candace started cheating on me. So I was heartbroken. I was lost. I was looking for something to occupy my newfound fleet time. Unbeknownst to us, my mom started going to a super born again Christian church. Beaver Lick Christian Fellowship. <laughs> My mom was trying to work out her own shit, but mom going to Beaver Lick meant everybody was going to Beaver Lick, okay? At first, my plan was to 
lay low and learn how to play the drums, okay? But through the science of osmosis, the word of the Lord started penetrating my mind. And I became intrigued with this idea that God can make me whole. But it was the praise and worship that got me. I am a sucker for praise and worship. You put me in front of the praise and worship, and I'm like, our God. <laughs> And once I made a commitment to following God, Pastor Maria wrote a sermon just for me. <laughs> God loves homosexuals. But not homosexuals. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> homosexuals, but not homosexuality. God loves the sinner, but not the sin. Being gay is a choice. I'm looking at you, Kat. Everybody, everybody, can you please take a look at Kat? And say, being gay is a choice. Amen, hallelujah. with is a choice, okay? Look at me. I have chosen to not be in a relationship with anyone because I only want to be in a relationship with a woman. But that's a sin. So Jesus, the God of love, has taught me that to learn how to love. I should not love anyone. Back in the Philippines, I was a player. <laughs> I had a lady for breakfast, a lady for lunch, and then a sensible dinner. <laughs> you see this power suit and smart haircut, unstoppable. <laughs> my father was a judge, so I had the money to take care of my girlfriends. Evenings out, jewelry, fancy hotel rooms, you like that? You don't like that? <laughs> you name it. But the daughter of a judge cannot be bakla, especially if she looks more like his really handsome son. So I joined Beaver League Christian Fellowship. Shortly after, my mother caught me licking a beaver, if you know what I'm saying. There, I discovered the venerable teachings of the most reverend founder of Beaver League Christian Church, Pastor Butch. She taught me that being gay is a choice. Yes. I had the choice to be gay and live a life of fun, sin, and then burn in the fiery pits of hell. <laughs> or to be straight and live a life of sacred boredom. <laughs> and then be exalted in heaven. So I stopped going by Bong and I started going by Maria Immaculate Conception. I chose to not be gay. And you, dear cat, you can do the same. Uh, can we all take a moment of silence for her lonely vagina real quick? Just one quick prayer. Let's bow our heads. Lord, please give her some moisture. Amen. Um, <laughs> Pastor Maria knew I was gay, and she wanted to convert me, right? And at that time, I grappled with this idea of choice. But at the time, I was super Christian, so I chose to, be, I chose to not be gay. Easier said than done. That was a very long month, okay? <laughs> but ultimately, Candace called. And while Jesus made me feel whole, Candace felt my whole. Um, <laughs> my mom might have been looking for salvation, but I was looking for a more tangible kind of love. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank